It was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He was brum, brum, brumming his way along the pavement. When, what do you think happened? He began to feel funny. He couldn't steer properly, and his battery began to run out of power just by the rubbish dump. Brum began to feel even worse. Oh, dear Brum, what a place to break down. stopped for lunch. And then, what do you think happened? Two more men arrived. They were on the lookout for anything that might be worth money. They found Brum. I know a place where we can get a good price for this bit of rubbish, said one. It's a useless car, said the other. But they took him just the same. And where do you think they went? They took him to the car breaker's yard. place for old cars that nobody wants anymore. while they went off to find the scrapyard owner. One by one, the old cars were lifted up by a big grabber. They were put into the crusher so their scrap metal could be used again and made into new things. It was a good thing Brum's battery was flat. He wasn't awake, so he didn't know what was happening. But who do you think came along just in time? It was the kind man from the museum. Stop! He shouted. Brum was saved. The museum man had come to the yard to look for spare bits of old cars. The last thing he expected to find was Brum. Look at you, he said. You're so dirty. However did you get here? Is there something wrong? Uh-oh, flat battery. And off he went to find Brum a new battery. The yard owner was busy counting his money 
when the two men who'd found Brom in the rubbish dump came along. What will you give us for the little car? They said. There, that should do you, Brom, said the man from the museum. Now, let me see about getting you away from this place. And suddenly, Brum woke up. Oh, my bonnet and bumper. Where am I? I don't like this place. I want to go home. So when the men weren't looking his way, he went. I don't see any little car, said the yard owner. You're wasting my time. Uh-oh. Brum hadn't wasted any time. He soon found his way out and made his escape, brumming as fast as he could all the way home.